Hi guys, in today's video, we are going to discuss one of the biggest uh, announcement that Amazon Connect have done that they have not allow uh, cards or the interactive message to come without user input like in the welcome prompt, right? So as we know that uh, Amazon Connect display the interactive message only when we have something called uh, input from the user and then only it will display the interactive message coming from the legs. Now what they have done in recently recent uh, recently released uh, document that uh, you can now have the interactive message right over here like over here I have used the views card right and if I select any of this I will get what has been selected without first uh, asking for any user input okay so what they have done is they have released this video or uh, document over here there are just subtle changes over here I have created this call flow over here so let me little bit dig down so if you see over here what I'm doing is I'm just playing a welcome prompt over here and then we are showing a view okay now what it will do is uh, uh, it will allow me to show the views so there are different kinds of views which are available uh, out of the box and then also you can create a custom one I have pasted the link into our uh, uh, description section you can check out the di different views that is available by Amazon connect and how you can create the custom views also okay so this link is available in the description now what they have done is once you uh, publish the widget right they have added something called new interactive messages over here if you see this two one so which allow the current uh, inbuilt chatbot to display something like this uh, the the let me show you again the ui that we are looking at right now uh, what i have done is i have played a little bit uh, with the json okay to display if i open over here i have played is remove few of the tags and here and there and i'm able to display the particular uh, this card menu and i can select any of this and accordingly we get the selected one okay so what is the changes that i have done uh before moving to the changes okay so let is let's go to this one okay so if you go to contact flows over here and in the type uh, in the top you will see views right and i have used the cards which is already provided by amazon connect okay so this is what exactly the view looks like okay what i did is i copied the raw data and uh, modified it according to my need you can modify anything that you want like if i change over here something like france so if you see uh, this thing over here is getting modified flight to pune something like that so this way you can modify the card or the text that you required right and all this thing and others also have the same uh, json object now what i have done over here in my contact flow is i have used the card version and in the attribute what i have done is i have given that json which is nothing but like this where the extra information like the details and other was there i have removed those okay now what happened is once you just select something over here okay out of those selected one and then there is a no match also found and then there is a back button so if i open this one uh, this uh, whole script right so i have no match found can't find match right so this is something like you can do with your uh, flow where uh, anything else kind of a menu in the top so where it comes let me display that one also so if you see over here it's something else right so that is also there so if i select that it will go to the some select no match found okay so this is no match found so it goes over here this is something else now what happens when users select any of these menus right so every information which uh, user select store gets stored into the system variable called views right so and then it will contain the view result data okay so view result data will contain information from here and it will contain this two id and heading right so i have used the id to distinguish between which one was selected by the user okay 
Uh, so yeah, so this is all the changes that uh, Amazon Connect has enabled to allow initial start of the chatbot to show an interactive message using the show view. Okay, and there are several views available over here. Uh, you can see over here. These are out of the box cards, confirmation detail, form list, and there are various that you can create. Uh, using your own custom views which is they have given over here so you can try on whatever the examples that you like to choose right uh, and the code yeah code is available in my github over here i have pasted the link also so you can just download this uh, uh, what you say particular call flow just uh, publish it and create a chat widget and you can start using it again this is still need to be modified a lot because right now what we are seeing over here is missing the styles right so if i again open this one right you will notice that uh, the buttons are quite huge right so to make it more compact uh, we have to modify the style which is given over here so if i click back to my card view right you will see something called style which i have not set so have to find the right style value which we can use and then uh, accordingly the ui look and feel you can modify hopefully you find this video useful thank you have a nice day